Well, hey there. I hope you're having a fabulous Monday. I am so happy that you joined me. I appreciate people listening and I want you to get involved today. So I have had a day. I had planned to go to my office and all that. Now I have a home office. So here I am in my home office. Have you ever had one of those days when things just was like, ah, that was me today. So I want you to join in and make sure you make comments and share this broadcast. And for those of you who are be listening later, I still want to hear your comments because I will come back and comment. So did you celebrate Mother's Day out there? So today's Monday and yesterday was Mother's Day. A great day. I just want to honor all mothers still. There should be Mother's Day every single day, right? Because what a job that we have. And yes, I've never given birth, but I am truly a mother. And I want to say that to all women out there who nurture people, who give people life, and you are a mother. You do not have to give birth to be a mother. How about that? Well, hey, I'm Dolores Presley, and I am a confidence strategist, keynote speaker, and I truly help women. That's just been, that's who I was created to be, to help women and to help girls. But I help women elevate their confidence and elevate their influence so that they can live the life that they want to. And we're talking about a subject here today that a lot of times people do not live the life of their dreams. They don't do what they want to do because of this thing that we'll be talking about, which is called imposter syndrome. I'm going to give you more about that. And I love coaching women. I don't even know if you can see in my background here up on the stand, there's a picture of me on the cover. I have a coaching program that's called Marvelous Life. And it's all about business life. And it's all about your personal life. And it will help you. It is a program that I do in several ways. I do masterminds, which I love doing them in amazing places across the country. I absolutely love that. So I'll be putting together a mastermind, some group coaching, and individual coaching. Be sure to visit my website, which is scrolling right over here. To And I got to update that thing. So, okay. But you can go there and find out about coaching because I love to have you as a client. And I'll be taking on new clients in August. So stay tuned, send me an email, inbox me on any of these social media, media platforms. I'd be happy to work with you. And I know, I, I know, I know, I guarantee you that your life will change. Now, wait a minute. You have to do the things that I've learned over the years. So if you come and coach with me and you don't do anything to make things happen, then nothing's going to happen. But if you come and you do what we talk about, your life will change and you will have everything that you absolutely need. All right. We are talking about overcoming imposter syndrome and some things, too. We'll talk about a little bit of fear, but this is so important, this imposter syndrome. And I'll share with you how I've dealt with imposter syndrome as well. So have you ever felt like I don't know, like you're a fraud, that um, you're not really who people think you are. Have you ever felt like you're fake? And this imposter syndrome is really dealt with by a lot of women. And then I'll tell you to, I'll tell you some people, I'll share some people, famous people that has had imposter syndrome. But it's usually people who are very successful who deal with this. And a lot of times they're dealing with imposter syndrome and they don't even know that that's what's going on in their life. Have you ever downplayed your accomplishments? Please, please do not do that. You got to go back with that. Believe in the power of your jar. I think I keep talking about that all the time because I've seen it help people time and time again. Do not downplay your accomplishments. You have value. You have more value than you even even taught to believe. You are valuable. And don't let anyone else tell you anything else. Mm. A lot of people with imposter syndrome. How about uh, Michelle Obama? Any of you know her? She talks publicly about it. She was saying how one time she was with the Queen of England and how she felt so inferior and all of that. Mm -mm. 
No, but she talks about it. So go Google that and, and find out about her. Michelle Pfeiffer, that's another person who has really dealt with imposter syndrome. She has been known to say that she feels like a fraud, that she's really not a great actress or anything like that. And she's not all that that people think she is. And I've had a client, I've had several clients, but one that dealt with imposter syndrome, but one, she was a, and she still is a VP of a major company, like a fortune 500 company, but she doesn't have a degree and everyone in her position has a degree. So she feels like, oh, I'm such a fraud. If people found out that I don't have a degree, then they won't, won't respect me. No, she has to respect herself. And that's something that I said to her, respect. Oh, I almost said her name. I'm glad I didn't. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Hey, Veronica, thank you for joining us. I just appreciate everyone who is out there. Thanks, Veronica. That's amazing. Uh, a powerhouse right there. You got to follow her if you're in LinkedIn or wherever you may be. So finally, she realized, and I'm going to talk to you about how you can overcome this imposter syndrome. Now, truly, I have had that without a doubt, because as a little girl, I was teased. I was called Porky. I was called all these crazy names. And then that has carried over into my life. But I have some ways to share with you that we don't have to deal with imposter syndrome. We can overcome it. And I have a book here again on my desk. It's called, um, you can probably, oh, look, you can see it. The Empress Has No Clothes. Conquering Self-Doubt to Embrace Success. And it's by um, Joyce Roche. And she was like in corporate, major corporate, and just felt horrible and felt like she had no work and she shouldn't be. And most of the things that we're worrying about. And, and <laughs> when you think, the thing about imposter syndrome, you don't even have any proof that you that you have it, it's like in your mind. So the first point I wanna to give to you is to teach yourself to separate facts from feelings. Hey, Delisa out there, I can see some of the people that's on LinkedIn. Thank you for tuning in. All of you who are tuning in, I thank you and I appreciate you making com comments, but teach yourself to separate facts from feelings. So my client, she was feeling like and as a matter of fact, she was overweight and please, I'm overweight too. So listen, don't even, don't even worry about that. And, and I have another program calling coming out called Confidence Redefined. And well, that's all about body image and all of that. And I'll talk to you about that in another episode. But the bottom line is the fact she was a VP. It's the fact they interviewed her. A fact that she obviously had the, the qualifications for this, and it wasn't necessarily built around her degree. There are amazing, brilliant people who do not have degrees. Now, I'm not downplaying education or anything like that, but what I am saying is separate the facts. The facts is that she got hired, that she had the qualifications. Separate the facts. How many of you are out there kind of like, when you think about it now, what you're worrying about with imposter syndrome not feeling good enough. How many of you have ever felt not good enough? I, I, I need to just put up two hands. I know you're probably like, Dolores, you never, you felt not good enough? I have felt that way at times. But I'm telling you right now, I'm kind of getting kind of emotional about that because you are more than enough. You hear me? Type that in there someone, somewhere. I might not be able to see it, but I want you to type that in that I am more than enough because you absolutely are more than enough. All right. I'll get so excited. Point two. Let's go to point two. Stop contributing your successes to things like somebody else helped me out, you know, I help me out. Oh, it was lucky. No, it was not lucky. There's no such thing. I don't know about luck. But anyway, it's not about luck. And you just work all the time. You work all the time. That sometimes, oh, I love it. People are typing in here. I am more than enough. And believe it because you are. 
you are more than enough. Mm. You have to do things like just a simple practice of saying and speaking words like, I am proud of what I have accomplished. Yes, Veronica, I see you. You truly are more than enough. You are more than enough. And everyone listening here, and I know some of you are in positions, you're in corporate, and you're in corporate, and you're feeling you know, just like, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm really not qualified. And ladies, stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. Don't do that. And even when you're negotiating and you're in you're in a negotiation, say a salary. So I want you to say what you want and be quiet and don't start downplaying yourself. Once you understand your value, you will be paid your worth. Hear that again. So you have to understand that you are valuable so that you will get that salary equal to the male, which we don't a lot of times. I'm not bashing men. I love you too. But it's the fact. I mean, even when I think about uh, women in the Fortune 500 companies, it's like out of the 500, there's 32. And I think it might have gone up a little bit. But the bottom line is, it's not a stroke of luck. It's not about overworking and just working yourself to the bone. Be proud of you, who you are. Be proud of your accomplishments. All right, let's go on to point three. Thank you. I love it that people are writing in here and saying that. And please connect with me. Send me messages. If you want to ask questions, I am more than happy to help you. Okay, point three. Ooh-wee, you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to do this. Break out of the trap of seeking validation from others outside yourself. Break out of the trap of seeking validation outside yourself. Hear me and hear me well. Validate yourself. Right today, I want you to validate yourself. I want you to go back to, well, you're probably at work now or wherever you are. Go back a different person and say, I have validated myself. I am more than enough. Mm. Learn to pat yourself on the back. It's okay if you do that for the well job that you have done. Do not allow others to determine your self-worth. Let's say that one more time. Do not allow others to determine your self-worth. Now, a lot of people will say, Dolores, I got to pay attention to what everyone's saying. Well, yeah, maybe you do. But if they're saying negative things, if they're making you feel not good enough, mm -mm. do not, I mean, do not, do not let other people validate you. So we've got some more comments here, or let's just see if we've got comments here going on. I'm sure that I am. Um, Yes, I want you to make sure that you are in Facebook. Okay, so my producer is trying to tell me something, so she's just going to have to go, go straight out and tell me whatever she needs. I hope you are on Facebook, and I hope they can hear me and see me. And I do see that, um, yeah, go ahead and check my Facebook as well. All right, we're going to keep it moving here. <laughs> so. We want you to be in that chat, and I'm hoping I see some people live over here on uh, Facebook. And I try not to go more than 15 minutes because your time is very, very valuable. So I'm going to just kind of, um, let's see, I don't see any other chat here. Let me just make sure. Um, okay, I don't see them anyway, so I'm going to close out anyway, because you have your, your points, right? You have, first of all, teach yourself to separate your facts from your feelings. Be sure to stop contributing your successes to things like help from others, uh, stroke of luck, overworking. And the last point that I share with you today, but I have a lot that I can tell you about imposter syndrome. We just don't have enough time for that. And if you want just some imposter syndrome coaching, I'm happy to offer that to you. And the third point was break out of the trap of seeking validation outside yourself.
All right. Thank you for joining me. I'm always here on Mondays at 12 noon. It's live. It's real. I just want to do real talk with you. I wish I could see the Facebook. Let me see if I can. It sounds like there are people who better not hit anything because then I'll have you off. But I'm so happy that you joined me. Be sure to visit my website at DoloresPresley.com and catch the replay. Please share this. So many people are dealing with imposter syndrome. And like I said earlier, they don't even know it. So please share this broadcast on all of the platforms. And I'm going to be here with you every Monday live. I don't care where I am. So now you see, I'm not even in the office. I'm in my home office. Next time I might just be outside. And I don't even like outside. Shh, I don't want to tell that too much. <laughs> so your Presley PowerPoint for today. Hmm. Serve divorce papers to your insecurities. Say goodbye. Don't be insecure. Know that you are powerful. Know your worth. Know your value. Again, I'm Dolores Presley. So thank you. I thank you. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you the next time. And don't forget to connect with me. I can't wait to work with you. I can't wait to help you. Have a great, great, great day.